Hey everybody, and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm, and this is episode 2, part 2. It's been a while since I've uploaded this. Um, last time I've uploaded this was last year, the 20th of November. Wait. Yeah. So, a long time ago. Skip. Later. Looks like David's here. Awesome. Max would have loved this shit. Another letter to Max. Oh, thank goodness, come home by a... We have a meeting now as well. Again, Chloe, really? At my wits. Yeah, I'm just in my room. Hey, after the tempest, wanna hang out? Mike. Sorry about Drew. It's not your fault. My brother's not always an asshole. Just most of the time. Forget it. Chloe Plex, I heard some fucked up shit from Nathan about you. Who do you think you are? He doesn't need you, you dumb fucker. Go back to your trail. Rich and Alyssa play, played you last night. You'll be lucky if, you, if she ever talks you again. Oh shit, why didn't I say that? I'm so hurt. This is just the beginning, bitch. Made it into my house without seeing other of my parents. Sweet! You were born to be a spy. Jumping out of the train like shit. Oh man, we make such a great team. No enemy for you, finally, would ever be safe from you again. Ah, meanwhile, you deep undercover and have passed out as a person. Blah, today was unforgettable. Some of it sucked. Yeah. You know what doesn't suck? What? You, you also don't suck. I know. We should probably sleep. God, well, tomorrow. Yeah, my fault. It's worth it. Well, blows. That may have sucked. Yeah, hell with it. I, I, you are. Uh, seriously, it's okay. Yesterday was worth it. Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. Oh. Hey, Elliot. Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I was expelled. Wait, really? Holy shit. I know. I'm surprised it took I'm this long. I'm surprised it took this long, long too. Do you want a hug? Okay. Uh, okay. Thanks. Was Rachel Amber involved? Yeah. And let me guess. Did she get off scot-free? Well, yeah. But she tried to cover for me. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Oh, right. Good call. Did you get my text? 
about hanging out afterwards. That's true. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I'm not really big on making plans, but maybe. Cool, cool. Uh, sounds, sounds good. I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. Uh, don't worry about it. See you around, don't you? Yeah. Later. It's about damn time. David, please. Hi. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Can we please do this later? Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. Oh what? Or what, David? What will you do? You do not want to test me. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You have a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Well, someone needed my help. Someone needed my help? Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. I need your help. Me, your mother. We need to get our own house in order. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? Chloe was incredibly out of line. She insulted me, swore at me, but with an apology, I'm willing to start over. No. Are you still going to date, date my mom? mom? Of course. And will you still be coming to our house? I plan to. Then I say, go, go fuck, fuck yourself. yourself. That's what I thought. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, you can't be serious. David and I have discussed it, and we feel this is the only way for us all to have a fresh start. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling.
Sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy. Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? You, but not him. Sure. As long as you promise to never speak to this asshole again. Chloe. Joyce, we can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. W what, what does, does that, that mean? mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. I know I fucked up. Mom, I, I, I know I fucked up. I, I'm a fuck up. I'm sorry. Are you sorry? You don't even know what you're apologizing for. I've been shutting you out even though I've needed you, and you need me, and I know that. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. How would you guys you know cook? which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Just comment below how, how are you guys coping with this. Uh, maybe because you are upside down. done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left?
this thing is a mess. But maybe I can fix it. Chloe, David's trying to do what he thinks is the best. He's such a tool. I don't like that he asks you to empty pockets. And then you were completely incorrect. Chloe, can you just forget about David for a sec? Think about me. Maybe I just need space, okay? Maybe I need my daughter back. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Magical battery goes here. Soon as I magically find one. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but who knows. I guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's so awesome. Don't tell me what to do. You're a long way from the beach. What are you trying to hide under there, Finn? Here we go, the pick of the litter. No. Not going over there. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Chloe Price, I don't suck. You really don't. My mom thinks I do. I don't know if I can stand to go home tonight. Still there. Grabbing something from my home, and then I'll meet you at the junkyard. See you really soon. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. Hmm. 
I think I'm all smashed up. For now. Aha! Now I can use this to climb on the boat. Tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash heaps. Bear it for a I can't believe Rachel set that fire. I don't think she meant to, but I also don't think she didn't mean to. Crazy that something so destructive can also be so beautiful. Beautiful. Or a fire that began in a trash can could grow to light up the entire sky. Conclusion, fire, pretty sweet. So fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. cover for that torn seat. Here's hoping for a holiday miracle to light up my ride. Today, 
you begin an exciting new life as a floor mat. Sorry, Max. I think I'm more jealous of you than anything. Hopefully, I'll be escaping this place soon, too. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. It probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Really sweet. Junkyard, north of town. The junkyard, that's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And Frank? Is everything cool? I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general, or to you? Time for a hard-earned smoke break. You only get one chance to make a first expression. The eye sees all. Does your truck look like a Christmas party on wheels? Nah, didn't think so. <laughs> what do we have here? Yep, this'll do. Alright guys, if you guys had enjoyed this, this part, please, please like, comment, please like, comment, and subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next part. I'm trying.